everyone, welcome to Ready Chicken channel. In this session, I will be talking about character set in C program. So let's get started. Subscribe to Ready Chicken channel and hit the bell icon for more videos and updates in this channel. Understanding a character set is basic and most important thing before going ahead in detail with the C language. As in the industry, the raw materials are used in order to form end product. For example, if we want to construct a bicycle, for example, if we want to construct a bicycle, we will need a particular set of raw materials such as wheel, handle, chain. We will need the particular set of raw materials which will bake best suit for that bicycle to get formed, right? We could not use a, any random raw material such as we could not use the wheel of a uh, car or we could not use the uh, seat of car uh, for a bicycle to get formed, right? We could only use the uh, particular set of raw material in order to form the particular end product. We could not use the any random raw material, right? Similarly, every language provides a particular set of raw materials. These raw materials are nothing but a character set. So every language provides a particular set of raw materials which represent the information in that particular language and that raw material is nothing but a character set. Every language provides a particular set of raw materials in order to represent the information in that particular language and that raw material is nothing but it is a character set. For example, the English language has its own character set such as alphabets and spatial symbols to represent the information in English language, right? In English language, we use the alphabets and spatial symbols in order to create the sentence in an English language. So, English language uses the alphabets and spatial symbols as a raw material to get the sentence to form. Or to represent the information, it uses the alphabets and spatial symbols as a raw material. And that raw material is nothing but a character set. Similarly, the C language also has a well-known character set in order to represent the information in C language. C language also has a well-known character set in order to represent the information. C character set includes alphabets, digits and spatial symbols. C language includes the character set. Alphabets, digits and spatial symbols. language uses alphabets, digits and spatial symbols as a raw material in order to represent the information, right? So, alphabets, digits and spatial symbols are to be called as a character set of C. Now, what is a character? Character is nothing but alphabet, digit and spatial symbols used to represent the information. What is the character set? Character set is nothing but set of all possible characters used in a C programming language. All the characters which are present in ASCII, ASCII codes could be used in a C language. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. 
Now let us see which are the character set that are present in a C language. Alphabets, digit and special symbols or special characters are mainly used as a character set in C language. So first one is the alphabets. Alphabets from capital A to Z, small a to Z are also included in a C language. Next is a digit which ranges from 0 to 9 would also be used in a C language. Third and most important that is special characters such as at the rate, ampersand, percent, cap, uh, square bracket, curly brackets, forward slash, backward slash, all those characters which you could see here all could be used in a C language. Right? Apart from this, some other special, other characters such as blank space, tab, new line, carriage written also could be used in a C language. And all these together we called as a character set. All these together we call it is a character set. By using those character set, we could create the keywords, identifiers, variables, constant in a C language. Right? We could use this character set in order to form the keywords, identifiers, variable, constant in a C language. For example, float is a keyword. Float is a keyword which get formed. Float is a keyword which get formed by using the by using the alphabets. Right? Float is a keyword which get formed by using the alphabet F L O A T. That means by using the character set alphabet, uh, we have created one keyword float which represent the floating point number or the decimal number right that means we have used the alphabet as a character set in order to create the keyword which represent the information in C language which represent the floating point number the total 128 characters are included in our sky each character having its unique ASCII values, which ranges from 0 to 127. Capital A in ASCII is represented by 65. Capital B in ASCII is represented by 66 and so on up to capital Z is represented by 90. Small a is represented by 97, small b by 98 and so on. Also the special characters are also to be represented by its, its ASCII values. So all the characters that are present inside ASCII, we could use all those characters in a C language. So set of all possible characters that are used within a C programming language are referred as a character set. In this way, we have seen here character set in C programming. Thank you.